start to date these different women and see how they really are, then you can start to tell the difference between each of them. John, you're the expert because you've been doing this 27 years. What are your list of do's and don'ts? The, the, the things to avoid. First of all, start with what we're talking about right now. Don't go over being one woman. Go over on the jerk. Let those people help you. Listen to your matchmakers. Don't try to buy your way in. Okay? Don't move too fast when you need somebody to fall in love with the person with you. Well, guess what? It's a different culture. Because when you go over to these, these things, you're going over with an American mindset, right? And so when you go into Latin America and you go to a social and you're meeting these women, you're judging them, you're evaluating them based on what you know, which is common, which is understandable, but it's wrong because you cannot compare them to your favorite reference of here. You have to clear your mind space there, go over there and start to date these different women and see how they really are, then you can start to tell the difference between each of them compared to their culture. Totally different, it really is. So that's a, a big one. Another thing is, don't be needy. Don't just all of a sudden, like I said, the first time you go out there, it's good, just say, like, okay, this is it, I love you. I'm gonna spend the rest of my time with you. What are you gonna do tomorrow? What are you gonna do next day? What's the other? The woman's gonna run. That's desperation, you know, as you lower your value, so much when you do that. I was not buying her tons of stuff. I'm not going to buy my way into anything. But I was doing romantic stuff. I was doing stupid stuff. And I came back to here and I figured out a way to cook this huge gourmet dinner. I turned our hotel room into a bistro. And I had to go to the whole damn hotel. I'm still banned from that hotel, I think. Because it got out of control. I'm not going to go to the hotel. It's things like that that make a difference. So these are the kind of do's and don'ts. And some of these things I'm talking about, guys, you can use domestically. Because domestic dating is the same thing, you know? And so, you know, it's just interaction between men and women. Sometimes we get just too mean, too quick, um, <coughs> and we see that, and those relationships just don't work. I mean, yeah, Tom and I, we really hit it off that first night, but it took a year and a half for us to actually get married. Guy who was already a woman directly, not through our site, because someone else said he was in Ukraine. He took our dirt, but he wanted to meet her six months. He was right, six months. He had the ring, engagement ring. Goes over there, meets her, comes back, but Don was like, this is my Then he went to the social, met someone, and it's all happened. I mean, so don't do so much writing. Don't I like to look at our service more as offline dating than online dating. Right? We're offline. We are doing matchmaking. We have really qualified good people that match. you should consider expanding your horizons. Check out our website at columbianlady.com If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.